when jesus lived on this earth he was 100% human flesh so if he follow the desire and the will of his flesh he would not be able to do the will of god that's what he means i'm not doing my own will that means he says that i have my own will as well he has his own will as well but he deny his own will own desires to do the will of god hallelujah just like you and me today we all have our own will our own will says that how nice if we have a blanket a pillow and can sleep now our own will says that how nice we can eat something right now but the will of god for us that we we'll sit here hear the word of god to make it very simple your flesh desires contrary to the will of god so that's what jesus mean i came here to this earth not to do my own will but the will of my father his flesh says that no point you do good for these people no point you go around preaching the gospel to them somehow they going to crucify you but jesus deny the will of the flesh and say that i'm here to do the will of my father likewise we all are here on this earth not to do our own will but the will of god jesus has set an a good example for us that he lived his whole life to do the will of god hallelujah therefore we must do the will of god but the question is are we doing the will of god today the will of god is not a matter of what you like what you don't like it's a matter of what pleases the lord as a christian the will of god must be more important in our life more than anything you see here what happened is this jesus was very hungry so he told the disciples go and get for me some food to eat i'm very hungry so while they went to get the food he met an samaritan woman he was talking to her preaching about the kingdom of god hallelujah while he was talking to her the the disciples came back with the food when they gave the food he says that my food is to do the will of god today we are doing the will of god even after knowing the will of god but we grumble oh why must i do this why but look at jesus the way he do the will of god he was enjoying he was enjoying he said my food is to do the will of god i'm already eating man don't disturb me i'm already having my meal by preaching the gospel to her and by doing the will of god in her life you please don't disturb me this is much more greater than the physical food hallelujah today in our life today in our life are we really paying attention to the will of god we married we got married to our spouse as per our own will our we grow our children as per our own will we educate them as per our own will we uh, choose our career as per our own will we choose a place to stay as per our own will we choose to buy something as per our own will we choose to to, to mingle with some people as per our own will. own will huh? we choose a ministry as per our own will so that, oh i like this ministry i want to be this be that in everything you are choosing by yourself you are taking the rights you are becoming the god of your own life you are becoming the god of your own life when you face a problem also you handle it as per your own will if you see in the bible for the children manoah asking the angel which is also jesus himself coming in the form of angel how should i grow the baby the son how should i grow him but check yourself are you doing that today are you really seeking the will of god in the the matter of your children today in everything you are choosing by yourself the will of god is not only about the major things but also the minor things as well minor things as well every little thing you need to seek the will of god and not all christians can enter the kingdom of god but only those who are christians but they do the will of god can enter the kingdom of god hallelujah this is something you really need to pay attention to just because you took baptism 
just because in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit took baptism, that doesn't mean you are entering the kingdom of God. The Bible clearly says, Jesus clearly spoke something here, says that only if you do the will of God, you may say that, uh, Pastor, I'm doing the will of God. I'm doing all that I can. I'm doing ministry for God. Even if you're doing the ministry, is it according to the will of God? For example, to Moses the Lord told, Speak to the rock, my holy name, and the water will gush up. What did Moses do? Because of his anger toward the people, he used to rot the staff and hit the, the rock. The water came out. Now, when he did that, the water still came on because God doesn't want to put to shame his servant. But personally, the Lord told him, because you showed your anger and did not uh, use my name, speak my name to the rock, therefore you can never enter the land of Canaan. Got the point? It is the will of God for him to minister to people, bring out the water from the, from the rock. But the way that he used was wrong, was not the will of God. So this is what you should understand. We are serving God. Are we really serving in the will of God? That's the question. Today, what is happening in this world? We know this pandemic. This pandemic is a sign of the rapture. He's coming very soon. He's coming very soon. And do you think if He comes today, you will be taken up? If you are doing the will of God day and night, then for sure you'll be taken up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enough of being like a Sunday school kids that we know that praying and reading the word of God is the will of God. Yes, of course, that is true. But the will of God is more than that. In every minor and major things, you must pay attention to know which is God's will for you. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew 26, 39, we can see that Jesus, knowing that his hour of suffering has come near, he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane saying that if it is possible, remove this cup of suffering from me. And then for a while it says that, nevertheless it is not my will, but your will be done. Clearly we can see the will of Jesus, his desire to escape the death, he doesn't want to face that. No one, even if you are in that place, will never want to do that. But for the sake of God's will, he took it up. So no matter how hard it is, how worse the situation is, you must be choosing the will of God instead of your own will. You have just listened to Reverend Jonathan Ezra's sermon message. If this message was a blessing to you, please share it so that others will be blessed as well. For more video sermons, kindly like us on our Facebook page, Tabera Ministries, or find us on YouTube as well. May God bless you.